this is a, a song I've been doing for a, a long time. I, uh, I got it from a friend of mine, Leo McGuire. He wrote it. Right, I want you to join the chorus. The chorus is... Oh, yeah! Right. <laughs> I want you to join in. I was heading with my crumb of cup for great in the green to sky, but my journey has an element of farce. Farce. Cos the calendar has stated it's the middle of July. You hear I'm with snow up to Mars. Oh, yo! That's no bad, no bad. You have to be a bit better than that. When my pipe's below my oxter and my spurring neatly pressed, my pocket's full of porridge for the road. With some Crawford's tart and shortbread and some chotty scones as well. And I'm just about to taint myself with wood. Oh! I am heading for Sweet Afton. That's the place that I am dafting. Where, <laughs> where the smell of tatty boggle fills the air. If you poke among the heather with a feather you will see. Where the untamed horny gollop cars is where. Oh! That's lovely. I remember Annie Laurie, sure I had her in a quarry, on the road through Tolbermory to the sea. I remember Mountain Daisy, and our lassie wasn't lazy, because I remember Daisy Mountain me. Oh! I remember getting pally, we a peely wally tally, in a chalet doing at Butlin's camp at air. And I gave her a bambino, as Chile and read the bino. Then she says, well, how did she know I was there? Oh! I was just a wee bit randy, as Chile and read the dandy. <laughs> then she went and put a pot upon the hob. And she made me tell you telly, which she balanced on her belly, so as I could eat while I was on the job. Oh! <laughs> By the time the job was over, she was halfway through the rover. And it started on that week's People's Friend. And she made me feel a scallop. And we had another wallop before my strong desire came to an end. Oh, oh. The Scots summers have a certain lack of charm, due largely to the sudden rainy squalls. Oh, eh? But the Scots, lasses, can I keep a laddie warm by their tender administration to his knees? Oh. 